Hello and welcome to another How to Code Well tutorial. Today we're going to further our development in Jekyll and we're going to look at how we can lay out pages. Now in the previous tutorial I talked about how to create menus or data files um, and a menu within a data file and how to iterate through this JSON structure. So do check that out uh, if you haven't done so already. Basically this, this course is uh, me trying to understand how I can use Jekyll as a substitute for my WordPress blog. So this is my blog here and I basically want to see if there's a way I can transfer this this uh, a dynamically generated blog which is in WordPress into a statically generated HTML set of pages using uh, Jekyll. Now one thing that has always concerned me with static site generators is how to separate the content from the actual layout. Sometimes they can be quite entwined um, and in fact this is how this WordPress blog has developed and evolved over time. I've got lay layout features within the content and the content is also within the layout features. So it gets a bit muddy when creating blog posts and creating uh, new tutorials and so forth. There are certain elements within these posts and these pages that are layout specific stuff rather than content specific stuff and vice versa. I'm talking about things like using the uh, short codes, using short codes within posts and stuff like that. It does get a little bit messy. So today I want to look at how we can lay out our content and how we can present that. I'm not necessarily worried too much at the moment about how we style it. It's more about how we structure it. So I want to have a separation between layout and content. So when I'm on a train or a plane or a car or a or in a cafe or just here in the office when I'm writing my blog posts when I'm creating my content I don't want to be worried too much about how that content is laid out because I want that to be um, dealt with within a theme or within a layout so let's try and do that now so with Jekyll what you can do is create a layouts um, folder here and in those layouts you define a series of layouts or files that, that define a layout and then you can target those layouts when you're creating your content. So what I need to do is create a layouts folder. So this is just uh, this IDE here is just sublime text. So I just type in underscore layouts like so and in here you would put your layouts. Now what I would like to achieve is uh, separating the content from the actual display. So when I say display I mean here like the include header and include footer. So like I said with the WordPress blog I had lots of like uh, short codes within the posts and stuff and I, I want to get away from that. I want to try and clean it up as much as I can. So I just want this page to be specifically content. I don't want to worry about how that content is displayed. So what we need to do is create a layout in here we're going to call it, I don't know, we're going to call it probably just page for now. Let's save that as page.html. And what I would like to do uh, is have this include header in here, as well as the include footer. So obviously I need a, a way of injecting the content into this layout, um, and you do that by putting in this content uh, variable here. So if I copy that, put it in between these things and save that. So now I've separated the layout from the content because there's no uh, uh, content within this layout, you know, until it gets injected. But obviously I need to tell this page that it adheres, needs to adhere to a certain layout. And you do this within this front matter here. You do layout, uh, colon and then you tell tell it what layout to use so in this case it's just page like so save that okay let's uh, take a look to see what's happened now if this has worked then nothing should have changed let's refresh the page yeah um, and that's because uh, it's just using the same includes the header and the footer but let's go and change a couple of bits let's see if we can get so that's including the header Let's see if we can just put something in here just to ensure that we have got this layout. So let's do a strong, this is a layout test. Close that strong, save that. I'll refresh this page and you can see that we have this strong tag. So this here is the header, this is the footer and this is being injected 
into the or this content is being injected into that layout now I can do I can use this it's quite a powerful tool I can use this for other pages as well let's try that so let's whoopsie sorry let's go back to here I'm going to remove that for now now in the menu.json we had the about so that goes to slash about and if I was to do oops, new file save that as about.html and I'm going to do, well, let's just copy that over. Uh, this is a test home page. Let's say that this is a test about page and save that. Now, if I go to the blog or this, this thing here and go into about and do that, we can now see that we have the about page. Obviously, we haven't defined the layout that this about page uses. Uh, so let's do that now. Let's go back to here, copy over this uh, front matter and put that in there, save that, refresh this page and now can you see we have, we're adhering or injecting this content into this layout which is exactly what I want to do and in fact what I would like to do going even further than that is instead of use HTML to create these this content is use Markdown. Markdown I find is far easier to read um, because you're, you're not worrying too much about these tags and you could do that you can if I was to rename this to instead of HTML to MD and change that to be let's do uh, a title so let's do about page save that change that to be uh, markdown as well so this is the index page MD save that and also change this to be home page save refresh whoops wrong wrong page sorry refresh this and we can see that this is the about page and if we go back to here this is the home page whoops that's not um sorry Ooh. Uh, <laughs> sorry i need to rename this forgive me md there we go, refresh that, yeah, now this is a markdown page. So this is markdown content, which is, in my opinion, very easy to develop and create and write. You're literally just writing it, it's very minimal. This is kind of the point I want to make when create transferring this blog, the blog that I've originally got to uh, Jekyll, is I want to be as minimal as possible. I don't want to worry about how the page is laid out when I'm creating the content. I need to be in a position where I'm comfortable that it will be laid out correctly because it's adhering a set of layouts, a set of templates that I have created. Um, and as I said, with the blog, it got very unwieldy because there's certain pages, it's especially with the pages, where I've got certain elements in here that, um, um, that's not, I mean, that's not even displayed very well. I think it's, uh, there we go. Um, so I've got certain things in here that um, are, um, hard-coded within the post right and what I would like to do is create a set of layouts that I can do and maybe put this in if, if these these things put these in a, like a data file um, and then sort of iterate through them then all I have to do is worry about updating the data file I don't have to actually go in and manipulate the content and actually put in um, all sorts of bits and pieces same with um, the skill sets Skill sets is a very dynamic page. Um, it's just this that goes, that moves. Um, again, that is in a post. It iterates through JavaScript and so forth, but uh, it shouldn't necessarily be in a post. It should actually be in a page, and its content should be defined by a data file. So this is kind of my new way of thinking. Okay, so both pages now are in Markdown, and I think this is the way I'm going to go forward: uh, is create the, the content just in Markdown because that forces me to not use any HTML. That forces me to remove the display of the content um, from the content itself. Obviously, I can use the markdown tags, but it's it's limited to markdown tags, right? And to be honest, this blog is, is a technical blog, so it, it's just text and uh, code. Um, so I don't need to worry about uh, the, the actual styles so much, as long as I've got a very well-defined set of layouts. 
So anyway, I'm going to leave it there. If you found this useful, if you found this helpful, then do give it a thumbs up, do like it, share it around if you think others might find it useful too. Do subscribe to pick up the next web chats and tutorials that I do each week. Thanks again for watching. Happy coding. I shall see you again shortly. Cheers.